I hope this doesn't suck. It's the first, the last, the nerdum. Hey, Thomas, how you doing? I'm good, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> getting getting better there on the uh, controls here on the on the uh, the thing right. there, but that was our intro for our show uh, as we yep. lean hard into this week's main event. Yep. Um, <laughs> and uh, I guess you could uh, set us up here, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for uh, if you're a longtime listener, uh, uh, viewer, uh, we appreciate you very much, and uh, we, we we hope you would absolutely uh, join us uh, here on YouTube and. Uh, and uh and all that uh, so thank you for the last few subscribers that we've been uh, we've been picking up a, a quite a few folks uh over the last mm -hmm. several weeks so we'd like that momentum to continue yeah. um and we are back from our hiatus our our, our uh semi uh semi time uh, vacation time or so <laughs> to uh, rest and and relax yeah. and get charged up and uh and whatnot but uh in any case uh, thomas how are you how are you uh looking for the, for this week's uh main event yeah, so yeah, the um, yeah we're hoping to get maybe a hundred subscribers by the end of the year, uh, which uh, is a doable goal, I think. So, yeah, if you like uh, like this, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed, yeah, do so. Uh, maybe give a like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't. Uh, but yeah, uh, and we also like uh, communication. So yeah, uh, if you uh, like a certain thing that we do, let us know. Don't like something, let us know too. Uh, but yeah. Our, uh, our main event today is what we do in the shadows, uh, which is uh, the movie uh, that came out in 2014. There is a show, which we'll talk a little bit about later on, uh, based on this um, uh, movie uh, that started out in 2019 and is in its current fifth season. The fifth season just started, so I thought it was a good time to uh, look back at the thing that started it all. Uh, what we do in the shadows movie uh written and directed by both uh Jermaine Clements and uh Taki uh, <laughs> uh Takiti uh Watiti <laughs> or, uh, um yeah I always have trouble with uh with his name but uh oh, but yeah sure. yeah I would I, I <laughs> hey I'm right there with you too so like I'd be I I I stumble over my own uh my own words uh, every so often uh, as it were, yeah. but yeah. Uh, uh, thank you, Thomas, for that wonderful intro. Um, <clears throat> uh, this one, uh, this one I had never seen before. Uh, and I know you have talked about it here in the, like mm -hmm. offline. Um, and you, I think you yep. mentioned it occasionally in the, in the different shows that we've done that are different uh, week shows in the past uh, for the grab bag or mm -hmm. for this or that, or, or just random and whatnots. Um, yeah, I I I mean you told me about it and like it sounded funny. I just never got back to the rotation. Of course, <laughs> nowadays uh there's always like this uh, always ever growing list of things to kind of rotate into or get into. And uh, this was mm -hmm. fun. Um I'm glad you recommended it. Um this is the TV show that I'm on. Why am I on the TV show? Anyway, yeah. So uh, uh TTY uh, yeah, I'm not going to try to kill I'll uh, kill his name. Tika YTD. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Tika. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I so, forget the K in there, but uh, but yeah, in Jermaine Clement, um, this is before, back in uh, 2014. Uh, I think they filmed it in 2012. This is before um, when TD became a huge name directing uh, a couple of Thor movies. Right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, before um, and uh, Jermaine was coming off Boy, the success the of uh, Flight of the Concords. I don't know if you remember that HBO show. You know what? Uh, where, I, uh, <laughs> I didn't, I, I was so very much reminded of Flight of the Concords when I watched this. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I was like, man, this really brings me back to like when that was on <laughs> and, and enjoying that. Um, of course, I wasn't like a super big fan, but like uh, it was like one of those kind of, you know, a uh, foreign type, you know, show, somewhat, you know, not too foreign but you know another made in another <laughs> country that if you were if you knew about it then you you kind of knew about it but it's a little eh, probably more on the obscure side i think i think that's fair but this had that feeling uh in and out uh i was wondering <laughs> about that i was wondering about that that's yeah. so funny that's cool yeah yeah so but then um, and uh i guess um jermaine and uh tika have been friends forever so um since the early 2000s so uh during Flight of the Concords, uh, Watiti actually uh, also wrote and directed on that show too. So um, obviously their their style of comedies uh, very similar. And uh, yeah, it's um, 
it was originally they originally did uh, a, a short film uh, just like this uh, in 2006, and uh, they'd been wanting to uh, make a, uh, make a movie on it uh, over the years, and they they finally got to do it. Now that that uh, short film that it's based off of is on YouTube. I did. Uh, I've got the the Blu-ray for it, and the Blu-ray is really great. Some sometimes, like last week, my Lady Hawk one, all it has is the movie on it. Uh, but okay. this one has uh, the short film, about thirty minutes of deleted scenes, uh, twenty minutes of extra uh, interviews because uh, this is a mockumentary, so you have the interviews interspersed uh, <laughs> throughout it. And a um, and, and just a whole bunch of extra stuff like, um, and then and like I said, the, there's a commentary track by by Jermaine and uh, Tika, uh, and uh, it's it's the the commentary track is is kind of quiet because um, I think the even though uh, the actors that they, they play a, a, a roles in the movie as well, uh, they're they're kind of um, kind of out there and outlandish but i guess um their real personas uh not acting is kind of real laid back and chill so it was a uh, kind of a <laughs> kind of a laid back kind of commentary where jermaine did most of the talking and uh tika he's um he didn't say a, say a whole yeah. lot or very loudly either Bro. uh yeah that's Bro. the the yeah. short film <laughs> that it's uh, based off of and it's um the i think the his name in it is i think Bulbous instead of Vlad, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but a lot of lot of the the scenes are are kind of uh, recreated in the movie, like this um, <laughs> this uh, flatmate uh, <laughs> meeting <laughs> with the the flatmates um, talking about their responsibilities. Oh, now, yeah. um, and uh, I think we skipped over basically what the movie is is a mockumentary. Uh, a film crew is. <laughs> been invited into a house of vampires living in uh, New Zealand. Um, their flatmates or uh, roommates, as uh, we say in the States, uh, <laughs> living together. And it's <laughs> it's basically kind of going through the day-to-day -day routines and life of a, a vampire, uh, a bunch of vampires sharing a, a flat. And uh, it's, um, it's, it's, you know, takes a lot from say the office and other mockumentaries uh, about the, just kind of going over the the mundane aspects of life, but the fact that they're vampires makes it even a, a little bit more crazier than <laughs> what what you'd normally see. Um, now, I was kind of kind of curious about mockumentaries. Uh, I, I kind of looked back. I looked it up on Wikipedia. I think the very first uh, mockumentary was in 1957. And I forget the name of it, but it was about a family that grows uh, spaghetti on trees, spaghetti trees. <laughs> and people, yeah, I think it was uh, made in uh, Sweden. And at the time, uh, Sweden, their pasta wasn't, and, uh, and spaghetti wasn't a big thing in Sweden. Right. So so a lot of them thought this, this movie was true. <laughs> And uh, so, and that's that's one of the things with the mockumentaries. You know, you get some gullible people, and you know, um, they might not see see it as <laughs> you know. They think, oh, this is a documentary, uh, much like uh, I guess the um, forefather for a mockumentary is say a War of the Worlds uh, when uh, oh. Orson Welles did the radio show, and everybody sure. thought it was real because uh, it was taking itself seriously as a um, you know a radio broadcast yeah um, but, uh, yeah. yeah i remember my dad telling me about that uh growing up mm -hmm. and say hey the, uh, you know like if we would play of course or my dad uh, is uh, one that has introduced different sci-fi uh things mm -hmm. that he's enjoyed over time and even ones that he probably didn't like so much but i learned about them through him uh but mm -hmm. yeah that that's uh that war of the worlds that uh that really people thought that was real and it created mm -hmm. uh i think it um i think it changed the way radio was done uh, after that point they had to change things up <laughs> yeah. because people were right of course you know rightly so like you know uh freaked out uh yeah, but hysterical yeah <laughs> yeah this this uh, um i love this uh on so many different levels um and i mm -hmm. will this has become a new quick favorite to be honest um mm -hmm. I, I i love it um yep. it reminds me so much of a flight of flight of the concords although mm -hmm. flight of the concords is to taste you know some folks like it some folks don't 
Mm -hmm. um, you have to be into that. Uh... There's a bit of kind of dry humor to yeah, the whole thing. You have to that. accept the character. The characters have to be good, and you have to like them. <laughs> um, and if, Because if you don't like the characters, then you're not going to enjoy the humor or any of the jokes that come mm -hmm. from that um mm -hmm. uh, at all uh and, and that's kind of how that that humor we we know more i think more people like it than they don't uh mm -hmm. but you know like with thor that kind of that 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 kind of grades after a while in a certain light um mm -hmm. and but in any case before that before we hit that point uh saturation point with uh with uh not wanting him to do another type marvel movie uh, please don't. Uh, please move on to <laughs> something uh, else that would benefit you so much better than us too. Uh, mm -hmm. But th th there was this, and it is so mm -hmm. complete, and um, I, I love it. Uh, I love how it doesn't shy away from anything. It just kind of like you right. just kind of <laughs> like and, and the um, the the verisimilitude of it is like uh, is is awesome. That the like you mm -hmm. accept the reality of that world. And you just mm -hmm. kind of roll with it, and then uh, you go. And of course, you, you there's been a million other vampire, you know, type mm -hmm. creations. But it was uh, <laughs> I like how uh, I like yeah. how, and you don't you only get you only kind of brush past it. Uh, you you mm -hmm. understand this world, and you get brushed past it like there are other groups into into this, then into this world that we accept that there's this kind of this supernatural yeah. kind of thing going on and the the who would have thought that the werewolves uh would be the the sensitive ones uh like so <laughs> yeah. uh thought that was funny uh i, I we're not werewolves we're werewolves <laughs> right so <laughs> we're, we're... that that just tells me that they that you can just tell that they were sitting on a gold mine of ideas mm -hmm. that they could explore because then you start thinking about well what the hell is a zombie like what how did that work you know you you kind of get to this this point uh, and then, of course, you have the show, uh, which uh, we'll we'll dip in and out of or whatever. But uh, mm -hmm. it'll have some interesting questions to follow up for for you uh -huh. on that um, yeah. over its general quality and content over the mm -hmm. years. But it's like five seasons, and it's still out currently. It's it's still right. mm -hmm. it's they're still producing it, uh, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The cool, cool. the yeah. fifth seasons just started. We're about uh, this week will be the third episode. So yeah, okay. It's um. But yeah, it's a uh, it's a uh, very fascinating. Actually, uh, the cool thing is, uh, especially since that um, that uh, the 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 short films on on YouTube, uh, if you guys haven't seen the the movie yet, uh, watch watch the movie and then go back and watch the uh, the short film because it's kind of fascinating to see how how if you sit on a on something and kind of refine it and get it to. Uh, a better state you can mm. compare the two and you can see all the kernels of the ideas there in the the short films uh, funny in it in and of itself uh but it's it's very amateur you know it's it's obviously a short film uh that they didn't have much money for uh <laughs> you know so so uh to see it being uh, elevated to a film and you know really refining the jokes making them uh work a little bit better and of that the first uh say 20 minutes of the movie is very similar to the uh the 20 minute uh short film so it's it's kind of kind of in a lot of, like i said a lot of the same scenes or uh the scenes are slightly different in in their approach and um the the cool thing about the the movie is it has a, a very similar to, uh, say, the um, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen uh, movies because it's uh, they they had a script. Uh, both Jermaine and Tika uh, wrote a I think 125 page or no 150 page script to it, but the only people that knew that <laughs> that had access to the script were Jermaine and Tika. None of the actors or the uh, and the the crew uh knew what they were going to film <laughs> uh so basically uh jermaine and tika would set up the scene say okay this is this is what the scene's going to be about and uh this is where we want the scene to end uh but in between uh the actors kind of had an improv and uh, so it was a loose form and obviously you know uh, depending on what the actor said, Jermaine and Tika would have to change what they were going to say as well. So, um, so yeah, the uh, and they said the they they tried to keep it to where 
uh, the people that were going to die in a certain scene, uh, the actors didn't know that they were going to die. Oh, okay. Uh, except okay. for except for the girl, the I think the first girl that um, uh, Tika's character bit into the neck and the blood started spurting. Oh, they yeah. had to rig, rig her up, so she she kind of had an idea what was going to happen. <laughs> right, right. When they're rigging her up with the uh, the blood thing, but uh, but yeah, so a lot of it was improv, uh, which is uh, quite interesting. And uh, the the guy that plays Nick, uh, he's uh, he's actually a, a stand up comedian, so um, they knew he would be good with <laughs> with uh, with the improv. Yeah, uh, that, and he he was in the short film as well. Yeah, there is that that pedigree, that breed of of uh, improv type comedies that have come mm-hmm. from FX um, that the show mm-hmm. is on, I believe. Um, and I I remember mm-hmm. back in the day. Um, you know, if you had to turn cable off or whatever, you kind of were sad a little bit because you you liked the more obscure shows. Like, well, once upon a time, were more obscure mm-hmm. shows, and then word of mouth got them to be huge. Uh, and ones that I think that are still on, it's always sunny. I think it's still on. Yep. Um, yep. And of course, you've talked about their podcast uh, from time to time mm-hmm. as well. So like that that that, that is that kind of that improv uh, that improv spirit. And I mm-hmm. I can't. This was like such a breath of fresh air for me personally. It, it was kind of mm-hmm. a very good palate cleanser because I've wanted to kind of like watch something that's funny. But I don't know about you, but I, I, like I'll, I'll rotate back to classics that I know that are funny. But sometimes it's like in a different era and you're just not into that kind of humor mm-hmm. or whatever. Or you don't want to see that right now at this point in time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, even though you're dealing with vampires and, and blood and all this stuff, it's it's very right. bright and cheery, cheery kind of movie. It says it take itself too seriously it's um just a, a goofy kind of fun movie that um uh and they do a lot of uh there's like a little, a little special effects there's like um a, a lot of a lot of jokes are set up and then paid off later uh in some of them some of the payoffs are so so small that you might not <laughs> not notice it right. uh like uh jermaine's character vlad He's um and uh Jermaine based his character off of Gary Oldman's portrayal of Dracula. <laughs> okay. So much, you know, very, you know, <laughs> kind of kind of Vlad the Impaler kind of things. And uh in one of his interviews at the start, he said that you know, he uh you know, he likes to poke things, you know, with his <laughs> with the sticks and stuff <laughs> and torture. He likes to poke. And then later on, uh, when Stu's uh introducing them to the internet and Facebook and he goes you could you could poke people as well and and vlad's like yes let's poke <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i saw that yeah yeah yeah, yeah i loved it uh, I, I i loved it um uh the, like i said like you and it was it had perfect timing it had perfect pacing it, it was mm-hmm. really really good um and and like i said i've been looking for something of course um uh, not too long ago um this past weekend um i, I got to see a, a movie with my daughter which uh, we mm-hmm. had been looking forward to seeing. Um, and mm-hmm. then just kind of like going back and like what the, the, but it was Barbie, the Barbie movie, which was interesting. Uh-huh. Um, but um, it, 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 it kind of touches uh, like on that, that humor. Now it's a completely different kind of comedy. I wouldn't consider comedy per se, but it's like mm-hmm. one of the secondary things, but uh, it's cute enough. But this one, like uh, I, I just enjoyed watching it. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, I also broke it in half. So like I watched one half one night and then I watched another half another, mm-hmm. l- a little bit later or, uh, part of the day, uh, earlier in the day. And then I watched the, yeah. finished the rest. And like, I, I just, uh, I love the, the, <laughs> everything. Was, it was awesome. It was like on yeah. point. Um, and, and they, <laughs> you're right. There are certain payoffs. And of course this has been the, mm-hmm. the I think we're spoiler. I think we're we're okay to to maybe spill the beans <laughs> a little bit, but yeah. uh, like I, at first, um, one of the ones that they got me was like, um, um, I think it was Vlad's character. I think it was, um, uh, I think it was his uh, or what was the Deacon? Maybe it was the super old one um, that had the the beast. <laughs> oh, uh, that was uh, uh, Vlad's Jesus. character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, uh, but. <laughs> In any case, you just accept it, and uh, it also kind of reminded me of that 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 UK British type delivery and humor oh, yeah. of of other yeah. uh, things like um, the, the Mighty mm-hmm. Boosh, uh, them mm-hmm. um, that that yeah. I yeah. I adore, uh, and I think yeah, I adore anyway. But in any mm-hmm. case, uh, uh, and 
I'll let one you. of the people, one of the people that they they hired, Stu. Uh, I think the <laughs> the movie's uh, really good, but I think um, it really comes into its own when Stu shows up, and <laughs> he's the the helpful guy that uh, the human with the his rosy cheeks and <laughs> and whatnot. And Stu is actually uh, a, a computer guy. He works in IT. Uh, the actual person. It's a, a high school friend of uh, Tika. And um, <laughs> so uh, basically they they hired him on. They said, oh, they hired him on to uh, work on uh, for editing and stuff for their computers, uh, set up their uh, computers and network and stuff. And they go, oh, um, we'll, we'll have you as a, a cameo role in this movie. And so he would show up and do a scene and then they go, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. And so they kept kept saying that. So he eventually realized that actually, I guess my role is actually kind of big in this movie. <laughs> but uh, but they they just told him to be himself in this movie. And um, there's a scene uh, later on where they ask Stu what he does, and he goes into explaining uh, his his uh, IT job. And uh, it, it, they act, he's actually explaining what he actually does in his other That's job. <laughs> funny. Yeah, because it, it was delivered perfectly. And I actually was following along with what he was saying because I worked for a company that wasn't dissimilar from – that did kind of like that kind of thing. But similar it, stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it, so it was like, okay, right on. Like, But uh, mm -hmm. I, I also kind of uh, – he's like – He's the pet human who nobody can eat or, or nobody, right, yeah. you know, they just, he's, he's, he's yeah, acceptable we, we, enough. We wanted to eat Stu at first, but <laughs> we like him now. <laughs> yeah, I, I loved how they, how he became the adorable little pet of the house real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and and uh, I also could see, I could totally, it totally reads, rings true that you could tell this guy was a IT dude. Like, I. I yeah. felt like I felt like it could have been any every man kind of thing, you know. Like, right. There's uh, an I, authentic I, nature to him. <laughs> yeah, I, like I could envision myself, you know, being put in this or you, you know, like that kind of mm -hmm. that, uh, being an being <laughs> IT tech people. Right. Uh, I thought that was very. It, it was just funny, like the um, the amount of jokes hit, um, and it just gets better and better and better until mm -hmm. you get to the end and it's over, and you're like, damn. Um, and apparently, if, if back in 2014, if you were back on the ball back then, uh, you would have had to wait a long time. But you probably would have been clamoring for anything and everything yeah. you could get. Uh, but then a, a few years, uh, quite a few years later, uh, that they, I guess, greenlit. You know, the uh, the you probably go back two years from like when it actually was uh, uh, put out, but or a good year yeah. or two. But 2019 is when it came that when the show came to I guess FX mm -hmm. and and. They, so I, I'm so curious to know uh, broad brush strokes mm -hmm. has that has that quality that 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 timing that comedic sensibility kind of kept pace as the show has kind of gone on uh, in your opinion of course uh, oh yeah absolutely awesome, uh, awesome. yeah it's 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 a great show it's uh uh obviously it's not the same vampires it's uh, a new set of vampires okay, okay. in in New York uh and uh i see uh, there's um <laughs> you know there's uh you know a, a european vampire and then a, a couple of british ones and then uh an emotional vampire and emotional vampires introduced into it and he's <laughs> sort of like your uh he's he's similar to Stu in that he's sort of like the everyman and um you know he right. he, he he bores you to death uh and drains your energy so he's uh kind of a I guess not. Uh, he's an energy vampire, uh, is what I'm saying. So he's he kind of just drains energy from you by being very very boring. Uh, but the the show is really good in that um, the first couple seasons very similar to uh, the show. Okay. Uh, but the um, and there's also Guillermo who is one of the uh, the vampires familiar, which he's he's hilarious in and of himself uh, because he's constantly wanting to be made into a vampire. Uh, but um, as the, as the show goes on, you can't can't really keep doing the same thing. So it gets uh, more and more outlandish, and uh, it's it's one of the shows when you're doing a, sh a sitcom about vampires, you could go further and further and crazier and crazier, <laughs> and it makes sense because it's vampires. <laughs> so, uh, but Boy, yeah, you it's sure uh, can. Yeah, and the um, I think the. Um, budget has expanded as well i guess that the show's popular enough for them to do uh, more and more um you know special effects and, and whatnot 
and uh yeah there's uh there's also peter in the movie that's sort of like a, there. a more nosferatu older style looking vampire uh and they have that uh, some of that in the uh the tv show as well yeah uh, but yeah <laughs> they they totally nail the details perfectly in this like for example vampires are obviously uh you know they live forever whatever they're, mm. they're undead uh, and, yeah. and you you wouldn't think that that would be an aspect that they would be able to find an access to uh, to put uh, substance on, but they absolutely did. Like there was a difference mm -hmm. between, like, and th there's kind of like a hierarchy too, and mm -hmm. like a pecking order, so to speak, of like you know how mm -hmm. it goes, and like which yeah. one. And they all are like, um, they all are merciless, like with the truth, like with who the people mm -hmm. are. You know, they're like, oh, uh, this dude's kind of like, oh, you know, he's like an 18th century kind of dandy. You know, yeah. these things have got to be like this and that and, and whatever. <laughs> and I love yeah. the I love the refrain, which you absolutely accept uh, when they had the flatmate meeting, which is hilarious in and of itself, mm -hmm. which is a genius mm -hmm. comedic idea. You know, of course, that's it's just so absurd, mm -hmm. uh, like where, you know, they, they, they say, you know, particular th lines like this is going to become quotable to me. Honestly, this is uh -huh. like this is like one of those kind of movies that you you want to quote from uh, quite a bit. And I could see that mm -hmm. happening. Um, if we were like, you know, if we were uh, uh, in, in uh, we saw each other periodically in, in the real world, uh, like yeah. I could easily see us trading back and forth, uh, you know, just yeah. kind of <laughs> some lines, endless, yeah, yeah, endlessly repeating the, the funny things like, uh, you know, the dishes, like we're, <laughs> we're vampires, we don't worry about dishes or something like that, and it's like that checks out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, it's, it's just inherently funny because you don't expect uh, vampires to have to do, yeah, the proper chores and, and how, how they get by day to day, you know, that, that, that is never really discussed in your uh, Twilight movies, you know, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, yeah, no. what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, Tika, he, uh, he's the kind of the, the dandy vampire. And he said that he based his performance off of his mother and uh, and Jermaine based his off of uh like I said um uh, Gary Oldman's portrayal of Dracula That's but uh so yeah funny. it's <laughs> it's uh, uh there there's um the uh the set the 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 house is uh is uh, on a on a set and they said that they kept uh, all of the rooms lit so that uh they could film and do anything they wanted to at any given moment uh again sort of that that uh improv kind of nature so uh and you know it's all kind of handheld cameras so the cameraman could move around and and follow them and, and pretty much you know film whatever they wanted and um the outside of the house is actually um yeah it's filmed in new zealand and uh peter jackson uh, who did the lord of the rings movies is a, a new zealander uh, the outside of the house is actually Peter Jackson's one of his old office buildings. Okay, uh, so, that's <laughs> so, funny. Uh, so they got to use that, and uh, it, it looks looks pretty good for <laughs> for uh, say where a vampire would live, and um, and they they, they kind of use some real locations like there's a uh, <laughs> uh, the the Tika's character is pining over a lost love who's now in her nineties, right. and he'll. <laughs> A lot of times he spins out kind of pining for outside the retirement center. And it was an actual retirement center that they filmed out of. That's funny. <laughs> and, That's funny. and one of the um, casting scouts were, was in uh, the retirement home and found this, this older lady. And she asked her if she wanted to be in the movie. And she's the one um, that she, she, she's as a scene at the, into the movie the end, yep. and and yeah and that's that's one of the ladies so she's not an actor either she just happened to be at the retirement center and um <laughs> in the commentary it's kind of funny because uh jermaine he said that she was uh dreadfully terrified of him his character because he, he does look a little scary looking <laughs> with his long hair and his mustache and evil eyes uh, but she was very infatuated with uh, Tika's character, the the dandy character, and it kind of makes sense since uh, <laughs> they're supposed to be in love anyway. So, <laughs> so it just kind of worked out. But uh, Jermaine said, anytime he had to give give her any directions, she could he couldn't talk to her directly because she was scared of him. She would he'd have to tell Tika, and then Tika would <laughs> relay it to her. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, the the um, I was gonna say the artwork, uh, or. Oh, never mind. Uh, nobody cares about that. 
I was just looking up some notes here on the on the. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, they they uh they oh, they reference other um you know famous vampire ones like the Lost Boys. Um, oh yeah. Like they they index yeah, a lot also of, some a lot of that of references. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. They they had plenty of those. Um, and I would be. I just can't wait to. I I kind of feel like I got Christmas early a little bit with this because <laughs> I have this and then I have the whole uh the whole entirety of the show. Uh, yeah, you got five seasons of that show. Absolutely. And uh, and while we're uh, watching this, I uh, I was <laughs> the there's a scene where the police show up because uh, there was a disturbance reported. <laughs> and the two police officers are, you know, they, they're hypnotized so that they don't see anything and they're going along. And, and uh, I thought the, the lady police officer was hilarious. And uh, the, the the scene was just, just fun to watch. And I was like, you know, I can watch a whole, the whole show of just them two. And then when I was researching the movie, sure enough, there's a show called Wellington uh, Par- uh, Paranormal. And it's a show about those two police officers. <laughs> and uh, and, the, the, and the, I watched the, and there's four seasons of it. Um, okay. It's, and um, it's it's over with now. So there, you know, okay. the, there's only four seasons. But I think it was just last year was the last season. So it's a relatively new show along with the, um, what will we do in the Shadow Show? And it's the same two police officers. And of course, they broaden the cast. and. Um, there's a, um, I think Stu shows up in one of the episodes uh, as well. So, um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's. Um, uh, I watched the first episode. I I have to say um, they make it funnier, but I was kind of underwhelmed with with the first episode. It's kind of fun seeing those characters again. Uh, it may it may get better. You know, some shows just take time to kind of develop. Yeah, and the, the first show is kind of character building and the energy yeah yeah yeah, for sure yeah and the the first show just is kind of setting things up so uh, i'll I'll watch i'll watch a few more episodes it's only six episodes a season so there's it's not a huge time sink into it (laughs) yeah low investment uh for sure but Mm -hmm. i cannot wait to uh unwrap the present that is the show Uh, yeah i i I can just i just tell like that's why i was so happy to like be Mm -hmm. like oh this is what yeah. Tom's. Well, this is what you were mentioning, <laughs> uh-huh. and you, you know, uh, and we only we, we 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 talk in bits and pieces, and and uh, sometimes we'll have a little bit longer conversation. But we, you know, we we talk, uh, you know, so you only get so many things in, and we're already talking about a full loaded plate ahead of time anyway. So it's mm-hmm. kind of these things that you kind of write down in the back of the envelope, um, mm-hmm. you know, back of the napkin, and be like, oh, okay, I remember that, you know, and then you th- throw it on the list. But like this one is like jumped up, and uh, boy, it couldn't come at a more perfect time, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been yeah. waiting to uh, to sink my teeth, uh, so to speak, as a vampire <laughs> so into, <to> speak, yeah. <laughs> into something new yeah. and, and interesting and funny and good. Um, there's just like a whole bunch of drac out there. Uh, right. And it's even harder to find something that 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 which is what we like, why we like to do what we do. Um, and, and I always will say that you are a better reviewer than I am, in my, in my opinion. I think you nailed down the uh, the, the nuance and art and, and this uh, the technical details and whatnot uh, way better than I do. But uh, recommendation wise, this mm-hmm. is another thing that I like that we do. Uh, we find right. good things that are, are fun uh, for you to check out on your own. Um, yeah. And they're all over the place. Um, but this is definitely yeah. in line with horror, <laughs> comedy, you know, obviously yeah. fiction, uh, fiction, fictional universe there. Uh, Absolutely. And there's, good God, there's yeah. like universes of stuff out there with vampire lore and mm-hmm. just a whole, co- yeah. whole industry out there of how vampire yeah. stories go. What, you I, you like this one? I like that one. You know, like there, it's all. Everybody has a favorite vampire tale. Um, although oh, yeah. I, I think we both don't like Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, I, yeah, that, I think. Um, or it's, you can blame it's Twilight for maybe killing off uh, the vampire movies for a long time because they made they made vampires not cool. So there hasn't been uh, much in the way of vampire movies. I, I think it's due for a comeback. You know, ever so sure. so many years, vampires come back and. Um, yeah, I hope, uh, and and the whole gothic thing uh, that's that's always big. Um, also, the show, uh, one of my favorite comedic actors um, right now is Matt Berry, and he's one of the stars of the show. 
anything Matt Berry's in, I, I have to watch. Um, so it was a no brainer when the show was coming out. It's like, okay, based off a, a funny movie and it's got Matt Berry in it, I, I, I'm there, <laughs> dude. Uh, but yeah, it's um, the show's uh, really good. And like I said, it's um, kind of progressed and changed. And I think that a lot of that has to do with, like, I think the first one or two seasons mm. uh jermaine and uh tika were kind of uh probably overlooking it but um it's kind of branched out with new writers and different things so uh, obviously new writers are going to have a their own kind of spin on it and once you get uh, get to know the characters you could start writing towards those characters yeah and in this one you do have a, a female vampire as well and like i said an energy vampire so it, it kind of brings an interesting mix and a little bit right. of variables to it um you know there's that um the matt berry character and the female character and i forget her name uh, natasha uh the actor uh they're 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 married uh they're married vampire couples so um you have that <laughs> kind of um uh, that that friction that comes with a, a married cop couple nadja and laszlo uh they're there, yeah, and and Nador, Nador, uh, yeah, they're they're all uh, great comedic actors in there, and uh, the actor that plays Guillermo, he's a, he's a, a very much of a standout. Um, he's he's the familiar to Nandor, and um, Nandor's is sort of like a kind of Eastern European kind of oblivious kind of vampire. Uh, that's uh, I guess reminiscent of of Vlad as well. So he's kind of a maybe the parallel to the. Uh, your main character standard and uh yeah, yeah, and <laughs> yeah i want to correct i want to correct myself too it's not that i dislike twilight because to be honest with you i i've only ever seen like maybe 15 minutes grand total of all the entire franchise mm -hmm. or whatever <clears throat> so i never really watched it um but i wasn't interested in it but like other shows uh that it uh that i have yet to get into this is probably going to spark me to get into other other ones um like uh, other like mm -hmm. True Blood, that's one that I have seen a handful of episodes here and there, and I did yep. enjoy it. And that was on for a really long time. Um, and yeah. that, I think that was um, uh, leaving just as this was coming on the scene. So this was pretty much hit its stride, I, I suppose, at the right place, right mm -hmm. time uh, when it came on. And yep. then it just, and it obviously inspired a show. So I'd be very curious to see how the show carries forward. You know, the kind of the. the yep this one and that one here's the direct drop-in replacement but mm -hmm. um boy the um what we do in the shadows like that the movie is definitely a, a fast favorite of mine personally yeah um, that, that um, i just i adore it and uh, another fun fact about the the movie uh tika's said that they actually filmed 125 hours worth of, of footage uh for this I read <laughs> and, that. Uh, he, he kind of joked um uh, they talk about it on the commentary track. They they joked about maybe putting it up on online and seeing uh, what what the fans could do as far as if they could make a, put together a better movie uh, than them. And they said uh, if if they could, then they they would uh, quit quit movie making. But uh, <laughs> uh, and then Jermaine goes, no, no, we would just get rid of the editor. <laughs> it was the editor that put it together <laughs> but uh but yeah that's that's kind of fun and um they also um uh, talk they the one of the things that i was kind of clinging to when the movie came out they were always talking about a sequel with the vamp or with the werewolves that they're going to oh, do a werewolf yeah. sequel yep and it was going to be called uh what we do in the moonlight and oh, then okay. it got changed to we're wolves and even on IMDb to this day, if you look it up, um, there is still that we're we're were, werewolves uh, being rumored. Uh, but I, I think at this point they're they're not going to make it. Uh, and uh, there's like a quote on IMDb I think where Tika says they it's sort of like a um, kind of a running joke whenever him and Jermaine get back together or run across each other. They talk about, oh yeah, when are we going to do that movie? <laughs> that would be, that would be amazing if they did. Uh -huh. uh, so I can see why it would kind of stick around and be uh, hard to, hard to kill, hard, uh, die hard mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Th this, um, this was just fun. I liked it. I was going to comment on the, uh, um, well, this is the TV show. What is it? What do they say the rating was for the, uh, for the IMDb? I just want to comment on that. 
or see what they say. Uh, yeah. There's no way, man. No, 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 no. I'd say it's more in line with the show. The show is like an 8.6. I don't yes. know that for a fact, but uh, I would consider at a very bare minimum, uh, the show is an 8.6. It's way, I think it's more than that. Mm. I think it's uh, maybe creeping up a little bit above 9, uh, 9.1, or if you want to be a uh, numbers yeah. nerd or whatever. But uh, if I had to assign it, it's no 7.6. It is, uh, it's mm. way, it's at least a solid 8. I don't know about 7. Mm-hmm. But anyway, my opinion. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's a uh, one of the best uh, comedies that's out there. Yeah, it's it's. Um, I agree, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think um, as far as mockumentary films, you know, the <laughs> I guess the classic one that everybody talks about is this is Spinal Tap. But I think it it's uh it's it's uh there's it's been classic. enough time to say that it's 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 a classic as well. Sure. Uh, in the uh, mockumentary uh. uh hall of fame but um another thing i'd like to uh, spotlight is the music in it the music's really good in it and uh jermaine is 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 a guitarist and he does play a lot of the uh guitar work in in the uh in the movie but also that the opening song um we're dead uh is really good in the beginning of the movie uh and they kind of do a kind of like a montage of various things over that 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 um opening song is the theme song on the tv show so um oh, so yeah okay. if you in in as soon as that song kicks in on the show i mean it's it's a perfect song and i i thought thought this that that song was written for uh the show or the movie mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's actually a song from the 60s um one of the people that were working on the film uh suggested it to to the uh to jermaine and chica as a possible song for the movie and they fell in love with the song and put it in um but yeah it's um really uh really a good tune <laughs> yeah I, I i'll have to go back and, and listen to the music because i don't recall it popping yeah. out uh, but there's so, so many other things i was focusing on too to remember mm-hmm. um but yeah this one was just it was great um and you will you won't be disappointed um at all mm-hmm. This is like a good, a good, a good clean cl- yeah. uh, palate cleanser, especially <laughs> with like, who knows what the hell is going to happen with the strikes on and whatnot. You know, whenever that's going to get resolved, um, if it does, right. it's like <laughs> that's all stuff that I don't really care about. Um, the you know, like I wish them everybody the best. I hope they find a whatever deal. But mm-hmm. um, I, to be honest with you, I don't really care because there's not like the movies that I care about are already kind of like uh, lined up, um, and they're going to be fast approaching here in the next the last six months of the year, the last half of the year as we go through forward. Um, so I'm good there. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. uh, but in any case, um, but that's going to be whatever it is. So hopefully they, yep. everybody can find a good deal and hammer something yep. out. And then maybe they can figure out the quality problem that we've been having for like mm-hmm. the last uh, quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah. And that's another thing. Um this movie is sort of like um, a gold mine because you could follow follow back and look at some of uh, Jermaine and Tika's earlier works like Flight of the Concord. If you like this movie, you could go to Flight of the Concords. I guarantee you, you'll enjoy that. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's other things. Um, Tika did a, a movie uh, previous to this called Boy, mm. uh, which I saw um, a few months back, and it's really good as well. And he plays a character in that movie uh, as well. He he write, wrote and directed it. Uh, he also did Jojo Rabbit, uh, which was a, a big success uh, um, a couple of years ago, uh, where he plays Hitler. And he also wrote and directed it. And uh, I, I really enjoyed that. Maybe we could uh, watch that on the podcast. Uh, yeah, I think he won a point as well. Yeah, I think he won an award for that too, as well. Um, mm-hmm. I, that's why I highlighted it there. And uh, Flight of the Con- mm-hmm. I'm no stranger to Flight of the Concords. Um, mm-hmm. It's funny. It's solid. Um, but it, it's got a certain kind of taste, like a certain kind of feel to it. Um, and if it mm-hmm. doesn't hit your funny bone, then you're probably not going to ring. It's probably going to yep. ring hollow for you personally. <laughs> but. Um, that one, uh, in any case, and that has uh, Fly of the Concord has Reese Darby in it, who's the alpha werewolf and uh, <laughs> what we do in the That's shadows. right. <laughs> Holy I love that actor. He's he's a great great actor. Oh man, yeah, a he's comedian. He's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah, Darby is. Yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah, Kristen uh, Shaw is good too. She's funny. Oh yeah, and she's uh, she's in the 
uh, in the last two seasons of what we do in the shadows. Oh, as well. perfect. Uh, per- perfection. She plays the vampire. <laughs> perfection. I know what I'm doing uh, later uh, later this evening. I'm gonna be. I, I can't. I'm gonna open up my uh, my present early. <laughs> uh, so to speak, but yeah, the um, I was gonna say, um, what we do in the shadows. Oh man, it's just great. It's just freaking great. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, th- there's just like so many things, like where, um, where, the <laughs> like the uh, his slave or his servant, they call her servant, mm-hmm. or whatever. Like in the, in the yeah. movie, um, yeah, you know, she's kind of like she's kind of eating shit, mm-hmm. you know, endless shit, and so it, it doesn't dawn on her that it's just a ride, it's just a con, right? Uh, yeah, like a, a thing. <laughs> Not, not that yeah. he can't turn her into a vampire, but he, he never, he's just not interested. He just there's wants... no plans to, yeah, <laughs> right. He no, re- along by saying that, yeah, yeah, no real plans. And then all of a sudden, then, then you know, this other character Nick comes through, and he's a very recent vampire, and he goes, "Oh, you're a vampire." Uh, he finds out later, you know, he, he she yeah. gets turned, uh, turned out by Nick, and uh, yeah. that probably is a wrong way to put that, uh, but in any case, <laughs> um, uh, it's just funny. It's you, you, you can't go wrong. Yeah with this yeah. uh but and yeah, and I, then, uh, has the and community the, the around sh- it only uh, only grown uh since since this whole thing kicked off i i would assume so yeah so especially with the tv show and um yeah there's just the um the fun of it um yeah and the they uh guillermo in the uh the show is is very similar to her character in the movie that uh, he's a familiar that wants to be turned into the vampire and they're just kind of stringing him along as well. So they, uh, the fun thing about the show is, um, you know, the in the movie, they're only able to kind of touch upon certain ideas and kind of, uh, you know, do do the punchline and then go on to the next thing. Uh, whereas the show, they get to explore those ideas and kind of flesh them out and find everything that's funny about that. And uh, yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's the joy of the show is, yeah, you get to spend more time with them. Whereas in the movie, you wish you could spend more time because – those characters are so real to you uh, that you wouldn't mind knowing more about them. And uh, no, you do. Yeah. Well, even even though they're they're, um, I I don't even think you could give them a, a, a well. Obviously, you could give them a very quick quick morality rating. But like just as people, they're interesting and compelling, and you they their flaws are right there. You everything is right there in front of you, and you just kind of you you accept it. And you uh, and you want to see more, <laughs> mm-hmm. so, especially the werewolves. Yeah. Like that's just kind yeah. of the thing. Uh, and th- there's kind of a, a, a somewhat semi happy ending, so to speak. I'll, and I won't spoil that uh, in the movie. So it kind of sort of at least wraps up kind of a, a part of it in the, in any case. And it kind of plays in with the, what what I was saying before, which was mm-hmm. like uh, humans are, yeah. are are essentially pets. Uh, in this in this world uh, to these right. kind of creatures um, uh, and it's kind of funny how different you 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 get the vampire culture you kind of understand that uh, you understand mm-hmm. that the different so it'd be really really cool of course to go back uh, and see this uh, develop this world develop around them mm-hmm. especially in a different location where it may be slightly, slightly a little bit different or its own quirkiness <laughs> yep oh and um show you how much of a fan i am of the tv show is uh um i think the, i think it was last season or the season before uh there's a line that nandor does and i was like oh man that that has to be a meme and i i looked it up to see if there was a meme for it there wasn't uh at that time so i i made one and, and posted it on facebook uh nice. maybe i'll di- dig that up and uh post it on our community uh tab that'd so be that great you see that as well that'd be uh, great. but yeah um yeah it's um <laughs> it's one of the shows that uh, just kind of fits uh, hits me in the the right spot. It's uh, you know there's a lot of shows that um, are funny, but just doesn't seem made for me. Whereas this show and movie is just sort of seems tailor made for me uh, in my sensibilities. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 uh, perfection uh, in its own right. Uh, with you just you just want to see more because uh, it's funny. It, it, this is kind of like back when life was a little bit lighthearted, a little bit more simpler for. Uh, uh, Taika, mm-hmm. what, what, what TD? Yeah, uh, what yeah, I think, um, uh, yeah, I think his, um, yeah, his, his Thor movies, his first Thor movie, Ragnarok, I, I enjoyed. Oh, everybody uh, loved and, it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and his newest one, uh, I think, I, I think, uh, one of the perils, and then the, I'm just speculating, this is all speculation, I don't know, 
uh, anything about him or, or what's going on with him. But um, my my assumption is what you get to be making a Marvel movie, you have a lot of yes men around you. Mm-hmm. And um, what you think with with comedy, you have to have someone kind of tell you when jokes don't work. And um, and I think w- what we do in the shadows, they were kind of hungry for it. It was actually partially funded by Kickstarter that to pay for making the movie. I, I read. Um, so so they were they were hungry. They were young. They were hungry. Um, they were taking knocks, and they they had to refine their jokes. And you know, if it, it didn't land, you know, they they didn't have someone there going, oh oh, it's funny, it's funny. No no, trust us. So. I think when maybe one of the issues with maybe Thor love and thunder is he had a lot of yes men there saying, Oh yeah, it's funny. It's great. It's great. Right. And then uh, um, where he should, they should be saying, Hey, you might want to, you know, take that script through a different, another pass or, you know, I don't know if this is working or not, you know, but, uh, but that, again, that's speculation, but I, I think it, it does help to have some, someone there honest with you to kind of say, Hey, Hey, uh, cause, cause you know, you, you know, you take the funniest guy, but, you know, if um, they kind of start getting a big head and thinking everything they say is funny, then, you know, you, it's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, uh, I, I think um, to be honest with you, like, uh, just as much as seeing it uh, is it, just forgettable, um, I think. And, and that's not just being mm-hmm. super negative, but it's just kind of like mm-hmm. it doesn't really stand out. And it is what it is. Sure. And you know what? Everybody, you can't. They can't all be winners. Um, right. Yeah. The, that's, that's that's just true as well. <laughs> that's just the that's just the way it goes. Um, you yeah. Know, yeah. You take any any comedian or comedic actor, they're going to have some stinkers in their <laughs> their their uh, uh, yeah repertoire of movies. <laughs> right. And well, and and the fact is, uh, the fact of the matter is, is, that certain comedies and comedians have a, have a, a shelf life. Um, it just is what it is. Mm-hmm. Like they hit the zeitgeist. And they become yeah. the you know if they if they really land it, then you have a whole era of you know Larry the Cable Guy or <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy or whatever you know or um, Kings of Comedy back when you know mm-hmm. what, probably at the turn of the uh, like or mid OOS I think rather uh, and kind of had a little bit of resurgence. But every kind of every comedian kind of brings their own little sensibilities and and, and funniness to the scene. Uh, but this one. Um, Gosh, the, uh, this is kind of nice to to have this, and it's very recent. I don't know. I would have never come across this. I mean, I, I was aware of Flight of the Concords, and I watched that when it was on uh, mm-hmm. periodically, but like I didn't show up every week. You know, like I showed up like later on, and of course, as that was ending, that was kind of like when the era of streaming began, where you could actually reliably go out and buy uh, or rent, you know, a show or or something like that. Um, mm-hmm. Of course, it was so patch meal or, or patchwork back then too. But yeah, this yeah. is a solid, solid down the mm-hmm. middle. You're not going to be disappointed if that's your. If you like Always Sunny, if you like The Mighty Boosh, you know that's a little bit more obscure for maybe not for our audience, but uh, you know the IT crowd. The uh, that what that's one that you've talked about here and there. Mm-hmm. The Office, obviously, everybody's mm-hmm. you know kind of uh, fell in love with. Although there are detractors for it, and I understand why. Um, I, I, I get it. Like the, just like, I guess I would kind of be that kind of detractor of like the, the big bang theory, like when it comes up here periodically, um, it's just, it's not that I hate it. It's just, it's just not my cup of tea and that's okay. Mm-hmm. You know, like some people just adore that, you know, they just love that, mm-hmm. but this is just, yeah, I agree with you. This, this, um, definitely hit my funny bone the right way, uh, and right. continue to, and it was just so nice to like fall into this, especially with all the other stuff mm-hmm. that's out there that, you kind of go, yeah. I don't know about you, but you you kind of go for a drought, uh, like where you know you mm-hmm. you go so long without seeing something substantial, um, mm-hmm. especially if it's yeah. like more lighthearted or funny or comedy, you know, like. But then the horror aspect really, it's not really. I would even say <laughs> that that's not even the the top definition that I would. It's obviously right. related to that, but it's more. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely more comedy, and these guys. Their physical acting, their their interactions mm-hmm. with the scenes and the characters, just mm-hmm. you, you just want more of that thing. And of course, mm-hmm. that's also a, like just like I say sometimes, like where if you watch something and you're not quite sure how you feel about it, and it just kind of leaves you in that weird state. 
um, then you probably know it's pretty. It's probably pretty good or, or a very good mm -hmm. quality. Same thing here, like where you you get done with it and you and you you want more. <laughs> you want to see mm -hmm. more of this world. Um, yeah. And sometimes it gets it gets uh, served to you, and sometimes not. Mm -hmm. Um, just like yeah. uh, the old uh, Bloom Camp that we uh, we 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 kind of brushed across mm -hmm. uh, from time to time. Like I had a hanker in to go see uh, Elysium, uh, mm -hmm. you know, just to just see it because I had seen so many shorts of it on YouTube and and whatever in the last mm -hmm. you know few months. But you go kind of go back and be like, oh, <laughs> it was, <laughs> oh, it, it was that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and uh, and then this movie, um, there is a, a a little little thing at the end of the movie, so stay till the very end, because uh, there's a little little joke, uh, a, a very funny joke at the end of the movie. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I think yeah. well, we're rolling up here in about a uh, mm -hmm. five minutes shy of an hour, so I, I think I think we covered everything for this yeah, week's so, uh, show. Too. Big big strong recommend. Um, mm -hmm. from, from yeah, my, and um, here uh, at the first. Yeah, and if you're movie. if you're wanting more. Uh, the deleted scenes are on on YouTube as well. I, I looked and saw, um, so the whole package of them. And uh, I I didn't look, but I think that probably the the video interviews are on there too. Those are fun to watch. Um, there's a whole deleted one where they go to Stu's office, his office job, and he kind of takes you around and uh, shows you around. And that that's pretty funny because I uh, they didn't say, but I, I'm pretty sure that's probably where he actually works, and they just kind of take you around. The, the the office he works <laughs> and kind of explain awesome. it things so that's that's kind of kind of funny if you uh i can't get enough of stew uh but yeah that's awesome uh, but, awesome but yeah guys if you uh liked our uh our podcast uh and if you're not subscribed yet you might want to uh subscribe and then uh give us a like on there and uh like mike likes to say we've got a big back catalog of various things uh, so you just kind of peruse that and uh, see if you uh, find anything else you might want to take a look at. Uh, there's plenty to choose from at this point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Whatever. Right yeah. There. Yeah. 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 So, so there. I need to mirror my video again. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, like like Thomas said, uh, yeah, we, we've got a whole big back catalog, 140 plus videos by the time we publish this one. Uh, and uh, our uh, shout out to our last week's uh, where our new yep. show, the Ner nerding out, uh, which we uh, hopefully will be doing live here soon. And um, uh, but regardless, we also did uh, Lady Hawk and uh, uh, Midsummer uh, Samar uh, two as well, uh, which was also fun. Um, yeah, and I noticed when our our like uh, say Lady Hawk it performed a lot better than I thought. I, I, at that time, I thought only my sister and I were fans of the movie. So it's great to see a lot of you guys out there that, uh, enjoy the movie. And, uh, I noticed when you're watching that, uh, that the views on Midsummer picked up as well. So it looks like, um, you know, you kind of maybe, uh, liked what you saw. So, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you're, you, you're coming back for more and, uh, we're happy to have you. Absolutely. And, and, uh, we want to thank all the 53 people out there who uh, d decided to subscribe to us. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Uh, and we uh, can't wait to en uh, engage with you. And if you have any ideas out there, or you'd like to come on the show, uh, give us a give a, uh, hit us up uh, wherever you can find us here, on, uh, uh, and uh, we'll we, we might be able to make that happen because uh, we're always looking out there for uh, yeah for... yeah. And if it's not on the podcast, maybe we have a new show called Nerding Out, yep. uh, where it's just uh, me and Mike uh, just talking about different things and uh, just kind of relaxing, having a conversation. And yeah, if uh, if you're out there thinking, well, uh, you know, I have a I have an interesting hobby or whatnot, uh, this is all about the nerds. So if you have a, a unique uh, hobby or uh, interest in certain things, uh, as long as it's not illegal or whatnot, <laughs> right. we would be happy to have you on and uh, have you talk about uh, your uh, your obsession as far as in the nerd world. Absolutely, uh, and uh, I've been Mike. And I'm Thomas. And remember, we're uh, werewolves, not swearwolves. <laughs> <laughs>